I have a confession to make. Well, I shouldn't say confession, I should say an announcement. I'm quitting high school to become a full-time YouTuber. Now you may be thinking to yourself, why would you quit high school to become a YouTuber? YouTube being a platform that is nowhere near dependable and could fall apart at any second. That's a really good question. You know, I, I, I just, I just think it'll work out for the rest of my life. You know, I just, even though I only have 600 so it'll just work out for me. It'll just work out. If you don't know who Morgs is, he's this British 15 year old who recently dropped out of high school to pursue YouTube as a full-time job and career. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, why would you ever, ever do that? Well, that's a good question. Uh, Morgs has the answer here. Hello guys and welcome back to another video and firstly I just want to say I hope you're all having a brilliant day. A little bit of a cheesy way to start the video but yeah I hope you guys are all well. Now this video is going to be a little bit more serious than usual and that is because today I'm going to be talking to you guys about why I decided age 15 to focus on doing YouTube full time. Yeah guys I call you guys a lot. I say guys because saying guys to you guys makes you feel like my audience. It makes you feel like... You personally know me, even though I just abuse you for ad revenue. Look, I don't hate Morgs, even though he is a clickbaiting son of a bitch who, uh, is 15 and dropped out of school. I just think his decision to leave school was not smart. When Morgs' channel inevitably dies at some point and he doesn't have a high school graduate degree, to back anything up on when he's in a million dollar mansion because of the shit tons of money he's making right now and he just realizes oh shit uh youtube changed their algorithm or youtube shut down because it's not a profitable company and now i can't make any more money so uh yeah i'm making fifteen thousand dollars a year living in this mansion um i'm fucked to all the youtubers who drop out of high school to become a YouTuber, what are you doing? When you're living in your million dollar penthouse in Los Angeles and YouTube inevitably one day changes its algorithm so that you can no longer make money through clickbaiting or shuts down because they're not a profitable company, um, you're fucked. You're gonna be like, uh, I'm making 20k a year now and if I go back to school I won't even be able to make any money and I won't have enough time to get a job outside of school if I go back and can I even pay for school at this point because now I'm broke and like I'm living in this huge mansion but I have no money to pay for it and I have all these really expensive uh, memberships that I can't pay for and oh shit you know like what like what are you thinking morgs goes on this weird rant about the school system being horrible you know you have a lot of kid viewers dude I I just I don't think that's a good idea to be putting that in their heads. Let's see what this genius has to say. I feel like the problem with most schools these days is they all kind of teach the same. All the students are treated fairly similar and it kind of feels like the way people are brought up is like they're all brought up to be the same kind of like robots in a factory. Like you get people with individual skills. Everyone has stuff they're good at and not good at. Everyone is better at some stuff and not as good as other stuff. Oh man, those are some astute observations from our resident morgues. I mean, those observations haven't been made by literally every edgy teenager in existence. But from listening to him, you can tell he's not dumb. He's not smart, but maybe he's like, you know, if the average IQ is 100, he's a 101. Uh, maybe, maybe just like one point above, you know, he's not, he's not dumb. That's the point. I mean, how could he have clickbaited his Pokemon Go videos so hard that he now has 1.5 million subscribers? You have to be smart to get to that many subscribers through clickbaiting. But when people try to call you out for trash talking morgues, uh, because, you know, he, he, stopped, he stopped complaining that he clickbaits. He's only 15. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's just a kid having fun on YouTube. Um, as a 17 year old, he knows perfectly well what he's doing. Uh, I mean, he's 15. Like, he's self-aware. Of course. I, I w if, I had, if I had that many subscribers at age 15, I fucking wish. 
I mean, I would have known what I was doing. I feel like after the age of 14, picking on someone for tactics they use like this uh, is kind of no longer off limits. I can comfortably say that I want to spend the rest of my life doing YouTube. That's not gonna happen, sorry. It's just YouTube's not gonna exist for fucking 60 more years. Because that's what I enjoy, it's what makes me happy. Now in the UK, obviously you have to stay in education till you're 18, and I've dropped out of secondary school, so a lot of you are like, morgues, how is that even a thing? But yeah, guys, let's just say I'm, uh, homeschooled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't tell anyone, but no one homeschools me. <laughs> Whoa, my guy Morgs has some big ass balls if he's willing to admit that no one homeschools him. I, his family is literally breaking the law, and you could report him. If you live in the UK, could, couldn't you just like report him to social services or something? Like if you figured out his name, uh, couldn't you just report him to the police and have his family fucking arrested for not actually homeschooling him? Like... Why would you admit that on YouTube in front of millions of people that you could do something that where you could get reported and fucking taken away from your goddamn parents because they're not raising you correctly? Guys, don't tell anyone, but I'm running a secret drug ring with El Chapo. I've got 30 pounds of heroin in my closet right now. <laughs> Guys, don't tell anyone, guys. So, yeah, the conclusion you should, uh, bring away from this video is Morx is a piece of shit and he deserves to die, honestly. Like, you should dox him and report his family to social services. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just- I'm just kidding. The real thing you should take away from this video. Now let's talk about Ampersand. Ampersand is the fan of Zawami main course tonight and good-for-nothing piece of shit. He bully us with no evidence at all. So we read the comments on Zara's cookie jar, and say, Hey Switch, call me out on your phone please. And look at this. Hey guys look at me. I'm a fan of Zorami main course tonight and I love to bully Switch for no reasons. I hope their parents die from coronavirus. Ugly ass cockroaches. Ethan and Venus the boo who cry baby. Ugly head dicks. So have a nice day retard. Oh one more thing from you too. Kill yourself and your friends. Hang themselves lol by retard. Ha 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 ha. So you're dead now clown boy. Wow. You are so immature. No proof at all how disappointing with 5 subscribers. What a loser. Do us a favor. Stop existing ampersand. Nobody likes your ugly face you racist shit and a noun collector. You have no friends at all. How disappointing. So thanks for watching. Leave a like, comments and subscribe so see you next time bye.